The oldest kingdom on the Korean peninsula, Silla, began with a mythological story that unfolded with the signs of celestial bodies. In 57 BC, the heavens and the earth met to give birth to Park Hayokjiose, who became the first king of Silla. This myth demonstrates the deep interest of the Silla people in astronomy. The Society of Silla began as a tribal confederation known as the Siokgul Society. This structure distinguished Silla from neighboring states and enabled a centralized royal authority. The founding of Silla was a perfect harmony of astronomical signals, geographical location, and a unique social structure. Guangai To was the king who ruled Goguryeo from 391 to 412 AD. One of Guangai To's greatest achievements was extensive territorial expansion. He greatly expanded Goguryeo's territory through several military conquests. These conquests demonstrate the excellence of his leadership and military strategy. Also, Guangai To had a great diplomatic ability. He managed relations with neighboring countries well and raised Goguryeo's international status. This means he was not just a warrior, but a brilliant national leader. Guangai To's achievements are recorded in his enormous inscription, the Monument to Guangye Tu. This inscription details his military successes and political achievements during his rule and is considered an important source of Korean history. In 645, Emperor Taizong of China invaded Goguryeo with a large army. One of the goals was to capture Anxi City, a strategic location. Anxi City was an important border fortress in Goguryeo. Since the castle's location was very important militarily, the Tang Dynasty tried to occupy it. Goguryeo defended Anxi City under the command of Yeongai Samun. Its defenders repelled the Tang army's attacks using solid defense and resourcefulness. Tang troops attacked the castle several times, but Goguryeo's defenders fought back. The fighting lasted for months, followed by Goguryeo's strong defenses, ships, and counterattacks. Due to Goguryeo's strong defense and internal problems, Emperor Taizong of Tang eventually decided to withdraw. This dealt a severe blow to the Tang dynasty and raised the reputation of Yongai Somun. The Battle of Huangsan Bell took place in July 6060, and Gabayak fought against 50,000 enemy soldiers with just 5,000 soldiers against the allied forces of Goguryeo and Sila. By killing his family before the battle, General Gibayak made it clear to his soldiers that there was no way to retreat. This was a strategy to increase the morale of the army and to make desperate resistance. This battle played an important role in the reunification of the three countries, and it was a decisive event that accelerated the collapse of Baekje. Although General Gibayak was defeated and killed in battle, his bravery and dedication are still remembered in Korean history.